Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. As said by Arthur C. Clarke, whatever humans fail to understand is deemed as magic. The architectural marvels built by the Egyptians are still wondered as to how it was built. The secret is still unknown to us. But what we know for sure is that they use geometry. Geometry exists in every part of the natural world and this is what Egyptians adapted from. Even modern scholars have failed to look into the geometric patterns incorporated in the thousand-year-old structures ingrained with physics and biology. But now experts have developed a keen interest in ancient texts and structures as they might hold the key to advancement of human species. The answer to the future is hidden in the past. Welcome to Lab 360, it's time to explore. Geometry for the ancient Egyptians is assumed to be a necessary invention for making land surveys in order to maintain the ownership of farmlands as the river Nile annually flooded the realm. So it wasn't just points and lines for the ancient Egyptians, experts were shocked to discover patterns and measurements that engineers and architects of that time should have no clue about. The Egyptians looked into the structures of plants, animals, crystals and natural objects to see the harmony among structures following sacred geometry. Sacred geometry deals with the harmonic relations with geometrical figures as a whole. Nature too follows a similar progression surrounding us. Even their Egyptian god, Thoth is represented in the hieroglyphs as a man with the head of an ibis or a baboon and was considered as the god of wisdom, writing, hieroglyphs, magic, judgment and science. His role in ancient Egyptian mythology is considered vital as he maintained the universe's balance by standing on Ra's solar arc. He is even credited with calculating the establishment of stars, heaven, earth and everything that is a part of it. Thoth is also considered the inventor of astronomy, astrology, numerology, mathematics and geometry. And it is believed, he was the one who passed this advanced knowledge on to the Egyptians, which is quite evident if you look at recovered papyri from excavations, known as the ancient Egyptian mathematical papyri. There are two of these well-known papyri, the Rhind Mathematical Papyrus and the Moscow Mathematical Papyrus. Each one displaying complex algebra and geometrical problems, and containing calculations regarding the pyramids. Leading to the possibility of these calculations being the reason for why the pyramids of Giza are still standing, using perfect geometry and accurate measurements. The pyramids are looked at as the fusion of mathematical and geometric conjuring, encoded into everything on Earth. The pointed top represents the path to higher realms, whereas the bottom part represents the Earth's foundation. Each pyramid is considered a sacred geometric shape, the Egyptians' architects used the principle of harmonic resonance while constructing the pyramids in order to maintain a connection between the Earth's harmonics and vibrations. The cosmic coordinates of the pyramids are such, that Orion and Sirius are intentionally connected. The southern shaft from the king's chamber is constructed in such a way that it faces the Orion constellation, which represents Osiris, the judge and lord of the underworld. Even the queen's doorways are triangularly shaped, while the queen's chamber has southern facing shaft, facing the brightest star in the sky, Sirius. Even the material of choice for the construction of the pyramids were limestone and crystals that vibrated at the same frequency as Earth, creating a piezoelectric effect, representing the mystical powers of the Earth. The materials used for the pyramids can be easily found in nature as well as heavens. The sacred geometry found in the Great Pyramid of Giza is considered to be a scaled representation of the Earth, moons and our human body. The pyramid demonstrates equatorial circumference and polar radius of planet Earth. If the height of the pyramid is multiplied by 43,200, it gives you the exact radius of the Earth and when the base perimeter is multiplied by the same number, it gives the equatorial circumference of the Earth. One of the noteworthy things is that a part of sacred geometry and light source is the golden spiral. Derived from the golden ratio, the phi ratio is found in the architecture of the Great Pyramid. 
The cross section in the structure demonstrates the golden section which is the king's chamber, which is not exactly at the center of the pyramid but 16 degrees, and 15 minutes off the center. The reason behind this being to receive a carrier wave, that allows a person to be connected to higher dimensions such as the astral plane. In human beings the emotional body and function is associated with something called the outer plane, or as per western tradition, the astral plane. The root word of astral is derived from the word aster, which means star, the source of light. Hence the structure of the pyramid acted as antennae to reach the stars or the astral plane, a place believed to be populated by angels and spirits, in today's belief that might be considered as heaven. So, it's easy to believe that ancient Egyptians knew that by modifying the shape of the pyramid, it was possible to alter the resonance of the structure to align itself to become a gateway to the astral plane, which worked as an energy initiator for important rituals. In Netflix's 2016 documentary, The Pyramid Code, archaeologists and theorists claim the ancient Egyptians came to the Great Pyramid to get more healthy energy. Many accounts from those who have made the arduous climb to the top of the Great Pyramid, involve minuscule yet noticeable shifts in energy, prickling sensations in body extremities and even cases of electric shock. Climbing to the top of the Great Pyramid is now illegal, but in the late 1800s a British inventor named Sir William Siemens made it to the flat, settled summit. Upon reaching the summit, one of his guides remarked that when he raised his hand with his fingers spread, his ears picked up a shrill ringing noise. Not long after, the inventor went to quench his thirst with a celebratory sip of wine, and received an electric shock from his lips touching the bottle. The documentary suggests that these were energy pyramids, created to conduct energy or alter frequencies over large areas of land. The only thing missing for the Great Pyramid of Giza to function as a power plant was a source of energy, which is why the ancient builders of the Great Pyramid took advantage of the water at the Giza Plateau. The Giza Plateau where the pyramids are located is full of underground water channels. This means that the high volume flow of water that passes through these underground cavities is capable of producing an electrical current. Even the shape of the pyramid itself leads some to believe that pyramid power plants were and are possible. Still, there remains a lot of unanswered questions regarding the many theories as to how they would have achieved this process. The pyramids also behave as symbolism for the trinity, life, death and rebirth, as many consider the pyramids to be built as burial chambers to assist the deceased spirits in their travels to the afterlife, the other trinities that the pyramid shape includes are the mind, body, spirit, and past, present and the future connecting deeply to all natural aspects of the universe. Nature surrounding us also follows this harmonious relationship, this natural progression famously known as the Fibonacci series, but since it existed much before the scientist Fibonacci, it should not bear his name, so many have started calling it the summation series, it an ancient Egyptian system which progressive in nature, where you start with the first two numbers 2 and 3, then add their total to the preceding number and continue doing it. The summation series is seen in nature in the form of the number of seeds in a sunflower to the growth of a nautilus shell. It is overwhelming to know that the ancient Egyptians held such knowledge, but it is quite evident when one looks at the plans of their tombs and temples that the summation series has been applied in the dimensions of ancient Egyptian monuments. Coming back to the Egyptian god Thoth, in a book by de Lubix, called Asoterism and Symbol, de Lubix calls Thoth, a masters of numbers at Karnak. It explains that Egyptologists are quite aware of the hieroglyph depicting sacred geometric principle on a temple wall, but do not understand the importance of it. The master designers used a background net to lay out the figures on the temple wall but the purpose of the net was not just to help them arrange the aspects of the art on the wall, it also had a vibrational component that was quite significant. Thoth, was also considered the initiator of spiritual culture in ancient Egypt, and is associated with every spiritual tradition of how we are conscious spiritual beings living in physical world, in a physical body with no recollection of who we are, and how we got here, hence completing the circle that the process of creation is connected to sacred geometry. 
The process of moving from singularity can be seen in the Thoth figure, which is stretching the cord in order to create space, which acts as a container in which conscious beings evolve and attain a higher developmental state. In the hands of Thoth we also see the Ankh, an important figure in sacred geometry as called the Key of Life, according to experts, was used in Egyptian art and writing to represent the word for life, and by extension became a symbol for life itself. With teardrop loop shape over a cross, the origins of the symbol are not known but there are multiple hypotheses about it, the symbol was used triliteral sign representing a sign if three constants, the Ankh was one of the most common decorative motifs in ancient Egypt and also used decoratively by neighboring cultures, Egyptologists, interpret the Ankh as an abstract symbols, some experts think there's more to it, they act geometric emitters represented to reach higher powers. What do you think? Were ancient Egyptians more advanced than us? Let us know in the comments. But before that, make sure to subscribe to our channel Lab360, because together, we will explore and press the bell icon for instant notification whenever our latest video comes out.